Hi friends, happy Saturday. How do you like the orange? glow here. It is still dark out. It is just a little bit after seven and I just pulled into Fred Meyer. I have quite the haul this week for you guys. I have Walmart, a 12 pack of Diet Coke for my husband, and then a 12 pack of Coke Zero Vanilla for me. This has become one of my favorites. This in the orange. Love them both. So a couple 12 packs of Diet Coke. I really liked these. These are really good. These sugar-free starlight mints. I throw these in my car and when I'm meeting a client or showing a house, I pop them in my mouth and they freshen your breath really good. And you can have three of them for one smart point. So not bad. I usually just have one. Again, they're really nice to keep in the car just for those moments where you need to freshen up your breath a little bit. And then I grabbed another container of sugar-free frosting just because the holidays are here and lots of baking coming your way. For my sweet treat this next week, I needed marshmallow cream, so I grabbed the Jet Puffed from Kraft. Mozzarella sticks just to have, or cheese sticks to have on hand, some string cheese. Nice to have as a snack after I go to Jazzercise or when I'm just needing a little burst of protein, so I grabbed those. Three packages of the Great Value Fat-Free Cheddar Cheese. Again, I can't find these at Fred Meyer, so whenever I do a Walmart pickup, I just stock up on the cheese. I use it so much that I use it all up before it goes bad. You also can freeze this cheese, so that's not an issue either. Pumpkin spice marshmallows. So I saw these online and I thought how fun would these be in coffee or hot cocoa or apple cider. So I went ahead and picked them up. I probably will use them in some sort of a recipe. And I also found these. These are maple mini marshmallows. I thought how good would these be as Rice Krispie treats. So grab those. I'll just have them on hand for any type of a baking recipe. 100% pure pumpkin. Again, just to have in my pantry for any type of pumpkin dessert or if I wanna make my pumpkin protein shake, which is another one of my favorite things. Sugar-free yellow cake mix. I used my box, so I always like to just have one on hand in my pantry. Animal crackers, these are for my husband, but I wanted to share these with you because these are the little packages. There's your calories, but you guys, these are nine smart points. And there's maybe eight crackers or eight cookies in the package, so. Not WW friendly. I mean, you can work them into your day, but I wanted to show you that 150 calories, if it's full of sugar, can really just elevate the smart point. So I will not be eating those. Big tub of I can't believe it's not butter light. We were out of butter, so I went ahead and I always buy the big tub at Walmart. I want to say it's just over $5 versus the small tub that's three something. And this is the two pound tub. So it's the big one. And then I also grabbed the big container of the I Can't Believe It's Not Butter spray. Uh, again, really a much better value for your money to just get the bigger size. So I picked that up as well. So that is everything that I picked up for the week at Walmart. So here is my haul from Trader Joe. So I ended up picking up quite a few things for the upcoming week, some recipes, and then just to stock up slash try a few new things. So let me show you what I picked up this week from Trader Joe's. So I decided to get this beautiful chrysanthemum plant. It is coming off a little bit brighter than in real life on the camera, but this is more of a like a maroon color with a yellow. And I thought, how pretty is that for fall? So I'm gonna have this on the center of my island instead of my vase with flowers. It'll last longer and it's more like a plant and I won't have to worry about dirty water in the vase. Just really makes it easy, especially with Thanksgiving coming up. It would even make a very nice centerpiece. And I wanna say this was only $4.99 at Trader Joe's. I also picked up the sprouted wheat sourdough bread. I saw this on, I think it was Alexa at Becoming Alexa's YouTube channel. And I heard this bread is amazing. It actually has protein in it which is crazy because most breads do not. So you can see seven grams of protein per slice and it is two smart points per slice. So if you have two slices, it's four smart points and so on. But I thought this would be really good for some avocado toast. So picked up that. Sun-dried tomatoes, I need this for an upcoming recipe. And Trader Joe's has the best and best price on their sun-dried tomatoes. Shocker that I picked up another container of the pumpkin cream cheese. As you know, I'm obsessed. I love this cream cheese. So before it is gone, I picked up another container. I grabbed some salty squares. These are the organic saltine crackers, mainly for my husband. He wanted some soup, and so he wanted some crackers to go with that. These are actually really good, and they're great with cheeses and spreads and things as well, but they're organic, so they're a little bit better for you than your traditional uh, 
saltine. So I picked those up. And then I was after the pumpkin cranberry crisps, but they did not have any. She said that she doesn't think that they will get any more, which makes me very sad. So I picked up these raisin rosemary crisps, you guys. These are outstanding. They taste so buttery and delicious. So I grabbed those. I did have them as a snack today. You can have up to 13 pieces for three smart points and they are so good. So incredibly good. So highly recommend the Raisin Rosemary Crisps. I also picked up the spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip. This is actually for a dinner recipe coming up from Mud Hustler. I cannot wait to make this, you guys. It sounds so good. Now, whatever is left over, of course, you can use as a dip or as a spread. So pick that up. Also, the la lag lagostino i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right or not but basically these are lobster tails i picked up these for that same mud hustler recipe you guys wait till you hear about it you're gonna die so i picked these up at trader joe's a little bit on the pricey side i want to say 12.99 you probably could substitute shrimp but i wanted to make it per the recipe so i picked those up frozen mashed sweet potatoes so as you can see these are like the circle chunks kind of like the other mashed potatoes you literally just heat them up with a little water and you have perfect sweet potatoes we had these in vegas and loved them so i decided to give them a shot throw them in my freezer just to have as a quick on hand side dish big big limes i'm loving me some limes in my water i don't know that's my new thing is limes in the water these were like a dollar fifty for this whole bag at trader joe's so i just throw them in my fruit basket i slice it in half throw it in a big cup of water so good so so good i also got the trader joe's organic mozzarella cheese this is a great substitution for the trader joe's light mozzarella cheese that is currently discontinued this is a little pricey, $4.99, but it is only three smart points, or I'm sorry, two smart points per ounce instead of one smart point per, per ounce of the light cheese that is discontinued. So it's a great dupe. It's delicious. So I picked that up. And also I do actually really like their light shredded three cheese blend because this is actually only three smart points per ounce instead of four, like the traditional. So definitely pick that up. Love, love, love it. Of course, since I was there, I grabbed two more pounds of the Extra Lean 96.4 ground beef. I love Trader Joe's ground beef so much. So I'm gonna pop those into my freezer. This time I got the vanilla meringues. Last time I got the chocolate, they're delicious. But I heard that these are really good. And guess what, you guys? One of these meringues, look how big these are, is only one smart point. So it's a great sweet treat, super low point. So I'm gonna give the vanilla a try. And lastly, I just picked up some unsweetened applesauce for baking. I really like the Trader Joe's brand of applesauce. So that is everything from Trader Joe's. So let's move right into what I picked up for the week at Costco. And here is what I picked up at Costco. Now this will definitely last me more than a week. I usually go to Costco about once a month. So let me show you everything that I picked up on this trip. Paper towels, we were about out in Costco, you guys, best price for paper towels. And these were actually on a coupon, so you definitely can't pass that up. Also, I found these red pears. It says a sweet, juicy snack. This entire six pound bag of pears was only $4 at Costco. And did you see this? I thought this was pretty cool. So obviously they're high in fiber, but it says apply gentle pressure to the neck of the pear with your thumb. And that's how you know if it's ripe. So I loved that idea. I've been wanting pears. I don't know. Again, it's the weather, the season, but you can't pass $3.99 up for six pounds of potatoes. That's basically like 75 cents a pound. So that's a steal. I also grabbed blueberries while they still have them at a reasonable price. I want to say this was maybe $4.99 or $5.99. And also I grabbed raspberries because they were $3.99, which is still a pretty good price since we are moving into winter. My husband wanted chili, so I picked up this Nally chili, but I wanted to show you guys the points for this if it was something that you wanted to try to incorporate into your, your day. So big case of Nally chili. Of course, chicken breast, which is one of the main things I always get at Costco. I like these pre-portioned packages. There's generally about two breasts of chicken per package. You just tear them off and throw them in the freezer, and it was 20 bucks, which is a great deal for all of this chicken. I always buy sliced olives at Costco. This entire big pack, you guys, two pounds of sliced olives is only $5 at Costco. My husband loves olives, so he usually eats them before I can even put them in a recipe, but it's great for planning. I usually throw it in 
a Ziploc container. Drain a little of the juice, throw the leftovers in a Ziploc container, and it lasts weeks and weeks in your fridge. So a steal if you have a family that loves olives. Also, pickles, we were out. Um, these baby dills were also a fantastic deal. Two huge jars for $4.79, I think. So huge, huge bonus price on pickles at Costco. Christmas cards. I'm going to be doing a Christmas card exchange on my Facebook group. So if you're not part of my Facebook group, I'll put it here on the screen for you. Head over, join. We're going to be doing some fun, fun stuff for the holidays. $16 for 40 cards with matching self-seal envelopes. So not a bad price. And also I picked up the Simply Campbell's chicken soup for my husband. Again, he wanted soup. So I thought I'd show you this. This is pretty good. No antibiotics, no preservatives no lined or non BPA lined cans and nothing artificial. So good deal. I want to say $10 for eight cans. It's a little over a dollar a can. Great deal. I also picked up toilet paper because again, a staple from Costco and I found a couple of clothing things. So this cute little shirt, this is actually the back and this is a workout shirt. So I did get an extra large. So it was nice and flowy for working out it was on clearance. You guys for five bucks. So perfect for jazzercise. And then I also picked up these cute little pants. These are DKNY. And these are basically like a Ponte pant. They have this cute little zipper pocket and they have kind of that like tapered leg. But I thought how fun would these be for work with winter coming up? And these were on sale for $12.99. Such a great deal. So that's everything I picked up at Costco. And I wanna say my bill was right around $150. Here's what I picked up from Fred Meyer, which is also a Kroger store for the week. So I got some produce, meat, a few of my favorite things from Fred Meyer. I grabbed a 10 pack of these mini Coke Zero cans. I had a great coupon for this. And these will be nice just to throw in my lunch when I'm out showing property or at the office. They're small, they're easy just to throw in a lunch bag. I also got some turkey pepperoni. This is for an upcoming dinner recipe. I can't wait to share this recipe with you guys. As you can probably guess, it's pizza related. So some Hormel turkey pepperoni. I also grabbed two cans of sliced black olives. These are actually for my husband. He's going to be taking tacos for lunches this next week. Lower sodium bacon. They had a great price on this. $2.99 was their sale price today. So I grabbed this. I'm just going to throw this into the freezer to have on hand when we are in need of some bacon. I was completely out of eggs, so I grabbed two dozen of the Happy Eggs. You know these are my very favorite eggs. My opinion, the best that they make. Nice, bright orange yolk. Love them. So picked up two dozen of those. Also some toothpicks. We were out and we like to have these on hand to, you know, check when we're baking. We do a lot of like roll-ups where we seal them with toothpicks. So grab some toothpicks. And I have some caraway seeds here. And I want to give you guys a pro tip here on spices. So I looked at the caraway seeds in the spice aisle and it was almost $6 for a little container of the seeds. So I decided to go over to the bulk food section and you guys, I paid eight cents for this. And I needed one teaspoon for a recipe, eight cents. So always check your bulk spices if you're in need of just a random, odd, weird spice for a recipe. You can save yourself a lot of money. Shredded cheese, this is for my husband's tacos, but I like to show this to you. Again, a lot of you don't eat light or fat-free cheese, so this is definitely an option. You're just gonna take a little bit of hit on your points for it. So mild cheddar cheese, restocked my light mayo. I was pretty much out, so I picked up another container. Also cornstarch, almost out of that as well. I looked for potato starch, but they didn't have it, so I went ahead and just grabbed the regular cornstarch. These were on sale on a spectacular sale. This one pound package was only $4.99 today, only. Today, yesterday and today only. So these are the wasabi and soy sauce, blue dom and bold almonds. These, you guys, are so good. If you just knock down the number of almonds you eat, you can work these into your day. They're great, full of protein, and a great snack option. Pork chops, these are for a dinner recipe. I'm actually making a... Chinese food knockoff. So I just needed some fairly thick cut pieces of pork and this was a great deal. This is almost three pounds for $6.65. So that was a steal. Also, I needed some 99% extra lean ground beef for a recipe. Two talking rains. I've really been liking these and there was a great price on these. So I had a coupon for buy one, get one free, but then I also had a coupon for a dollar off. So I paid 19 cents for both of these. Can't beat it. 
Again, I like to have these on hand just when I'm wanting something other than just regular water. Carb Master Ultra Filtered Nonfat Milk. This is similar to Fairlife, but just the Kroger or Fred Meyer brand. I use this a lot in recipes. So if you're looking for a regular milk substitute, if you have a Kroger or Fred Meyer, this is an excellent, excellent choice. Not that Greek yogurt. I needed this for a recipe and I used up all my other ones. So picked up another container of the Fa A Total 0% Greek yogurt. Red potatoes. I had a great coupon for this private selection brand. These are those little baby red potatoes. This is for an upcoming recipe. Of course, what grocery haul would not be complete without at least one sugar-free peppermint mocha coffee creamer. Again, I'm throwing this in my freezer. You guys, I probably have 10. So let's double that so we have enough for the whole year. So I just grabbed that while I was at the store. Also some whipped topping. This is for an upcoming recipe. I can't wait to share my little dessert treat recipe with you guys for this week. It's going to be delicious. Now the rest is produce. So I picked up some wild blueberries. This is for an upcoming recipe. Again, can't wait to share that with you. A red onion, three Fuji apples. Look at these lemons, two huge lemons. And lastly, three bell peppers. So the only thing that is not shown is a case of water. So that is everything that I picked up at Fred Meyer. So let's go over what is on my meal plan and what I am doing this week for meal prep. Of course, this is my Curiel meal planner. You know I absolutely love this meal planner. I use it every week. I'm really sad because it's getting pretty low. I've had it a little bit over a year, so I'm definitely gonna order another one. I could not plan my life and my meals without it. So there are several resources for you. There is actually a resources tab, and under that tab, you can log your favorite meal planning blogs and recipe sites. Take notes, just kind of keep track of some of your very favorite recipes and their smart points value or the ingredients involved. There's also a inventory tab, and this is where you can inventory not only your freezer, but also your pantry and also your spices. So it's a great resource to inventory what you have on hand. There's the meal plans tab. We'll be coming back to that. The gatherings tab, this is coming very much into play now that the holidays are here. This is where you will track a gathering at your home. So Thanksgiving, Halloween, Christmas, New Year's, whatever is coming your way, you can plan your food for the event so you can see that all of the different food items that you would need as well as the supplies are listed. And then there is a detachable grocery list for you to take with you to the grocery store to do your shopping. So great, especially at this time of year. And lastly, there is a notes tab. And of course, that's where you can just dot, jot down again some things that you want to take note of. And then in the very, very back, I love this. There's this cute little two-sided pocket folder. So it is just a fantastic meal planner. We are going to visit the meal plans tab, which is the yellow tab. This is the one that I use the most. So let's go to our current month, which is October. So you can plan your meals by the month. And I use this strictly to know what is on my meal plan for the following day. Not only can I make sure that I have my meat pulled out of the freezer, I can also make sure that I have all of the ingredients on hand for that particular recipe. So I love the monthly at a glance. You can see that I use it, I track all of my food on there. And then also you are given a weekly menu and you can track all of your meals. I use this for dinner only because I meal prep breakfast and lunch. So that's already predetermined what I'm having. So I do plan my meals, my dinners for the entire week. And then there is a detachable grocery list here and I use this every week when I go to the grocery store that you can jot down as you're writing down your meal. You can write down what you need to pick up at the store. So love it. And so what mine looks like generally is the grocery list of course is missing because I took it to the store with me this morning and I'm planning my meals for the week of 10, 27 through 11, two. So I plan my week Saturday through Friday. So of course today is Saturday and we generally go out to dinner or do something at home. I think tonight we're gonna make pizza, uh, frozen pizza. So we generally, don't, I don't track on Saturdays. So that's my day that I don't cook. Tomorrow, I'm really excited about this. I am making a spinach and artichoke lobster mac and cheese. This is a mud hustler recipe. I cannot wait to share this with you guys. Seriously, cannot wait. And I'm gonna pair that with some veggies. Monday, I am doing sweet and sour pork with rice and vegetables. So we have a Chinese fake out 
point friendly, one of my favorite dishes at the Chinese restaurant. Tuesday will be leftovers because I go to Jazzercise Tuesday and I don't get home until a little bit later. Wednesday, we'll be having chicken fajita roll-ups. I am excited about this. Thursday is a sausage skillet dinner. And Friday, since we're, it's Friday, we're gonna do pizza. We're gonna make the pizza casserole. So that is what is on my meal plan for the week. What I do is on the back of that is where I plan what I'm doing for meal prep. It just makes it honestly so easy. So for breakfast this week in my meal prep, which you will see on Monday, I am making a blueberry ginger pancake bake. Uh, yes, please, with some eggs. Sounds so good, I cannot wait. Lunch, I'm doing feta stuffed Greek meatballs. Oh my goodness, and roasted potatoes. Again, super excited about this. I've been craving meatballs. So I found a great recipe. I'm excited to make it WW friendly. And for a snack, I'm gonna be making brownie batter whoopie pies. I got a whoopie pie pan off of Amazon. I cannot wait to use it. Wait till you guys hear the smart points in these whoopie pies. So that is what is on my plan for meal prep, which again, you guys will see on Monday. So this again is my Carrie L meal planner. If you're interested, I do have a 10% off discount code. It is here on the screen for you. Head on over to Carrie L. They have the smaller version of this digital versions. You name it, you can use my code for it. Highly recommend the Carrie L to plan your meals. Thank you for joining me on this week's WW Grocery Haul. Whew, you guys, was that a haul. Four stores down and a packed pantry, fridge, and freezer, exactly how I like to see it. I cannot wait for this week's recipes. You guys, everything sounds so good. I did a lot of digging for these recipes, a lot of mod modifying to make them WW friendly, and I can't wait to share them all with you. You will be seeing all of them in upcoming videos. Definitely stay tuned for Meal Prep Monday, so I can't wait to share those meal prep items with you, and we are gonna have just a fantastic time prepping our food to stay on track for the upcoming week. If you are new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you. Make sure that you hit that little red subscribe button and the little bell, that way you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. That way you're not missing a single one. Please thumbs up this one, comment down below, let me know what recipe are you most excited about. And if you finished out this extra long grocery haul, leave me the, let's see, let's do the, uh, smiley face showing the teeth emoji down in the comments. And if you don't have access to emojis, just write smile face. I don't know what you're talking about. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.